impressed. He thought I was flat foot. <laughs> but we sure are glad to be up here at the Russell County Fair. And, uh, Carson went back there to get his guitar, so uh, we're going to switch around some instruments right here. Uh, these boys, I'll tell you what, they can play anything with strings on it. And so old Ben's going to come up here and play you one on the banjo. And uh, this is a song. I'll go ahead and introduce him. Uh, playing the bass now, back here beside of you. Come on up here where I can see you. Well, they can see you get closer. So you see. This right here is uh, Mr. Eric Marshall. And uh, I think you're a fan over there. You pay them. But anyway, I want to uh, introduce this song. This was called Old Time Country Revival. And uh, not only is Eric a great singer and sings all the parts, he's a heck of a songwriter. He wrote this one. And uh, I'm uh, tickled to death to be in the band with him. So make, uh, make Mr. Eric welcome one more time. Yeah. 
playing this big old bass since he's about six years old and uh, had to stand up on a box to play it when he started and uh, so now the box is gone he's still playing the bass but uh, regardless of age he's uh, 18 now and uh, we have to call him sir now when he turned 18 he said that he said Jamie you have to call me sir now so uh, anyway he's 18 now and uh, regardless of age he is one of the best bass players you'll ever get to hear so uh, I'm very proud to uh, introduce this man to you all the way from Mount Airy, North Carolina this is Mr. Ben Marshall.
How's everybody doing, Scoop? All right. Good. I'll go ahead and introduce the man I'm playing over here. They're doing a great job. He's got the blue shirt to match the blue body. He just knew what was up today. He was prepared and ready. That's right. <laughs> He was the ladies' man of the bunch until he got himself a woman. She's here now. Yeah! Yeah, now. You want to embarrass her? Yeah, you can. All right, Amanda, stand up. Please be proud of your boy up there. Look how proud she was. She stood out of... Everybody pray for her, please. Truth be known, she probably should have blue shirt. She probably should have blue shirt. Yeah. You're right. She's too we're well, doing a great job on the mandolin all the way from Marion, Virginia. Y'all make him welcome. This is Mr. Austin Taylor. Uh, really good Bill Lawson tune. It's 
So uh, they're going to sing this one for you. This one's God's going to rainbow in the clouds. God made a covenant with Noah in the days of long ago. He put a rainbow in the clouds for me. Yes, when the clouds began to darken and the wind began to blow, God put a rainbow in the clouds for me. God put a rainbow in the clouds for me. He sent his Sun down to die and set us free. Yes, when the sun began to darken on Mount Calvary, God put a rainbow in the clouds for me. When water rolled upon this earth and darkness covered all the land, He put a rainbow in the clouds for me. Yes, when our Savior looked upon it to go no In his son, down never to die and set us free. Yes, when the sun began to darken on Mount Calvary, God put a rainbow in the clouds for me. This book promised now is shining as it did in days gone by. He put a rainbow in the when our master gave his son up on the blood cross to die. God put a rainbow in the clouds for me. God put a rainbow in the clouds for me. He sent his son down there to die and set us free. Yes, when the sun began to darken on Mount Calvary. God put a rainbow in the for me. So, uh, let's see. Carson, can you get to come up here and do that, uh, uh, your old rendition of the Swing Low? Y'all remember that traditional song, Swing Low? These boys do a mighty fine uh, job of this that, uh, in the uh, hee-haw fashion. Not truly a cappella. They've got a guitar up here, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll try this one on for size. Y'all notice he's a fiddle player. He's not a guitar player, so he's got to take a second to tune that one.
But anyway, this song I heard uh, on the radio when I was a young boy, and it has stuck with me over the years. I, I never really knew who sung the song because it was on radio back then, and they'd play it, and then they wouldn't announce who, who sang it. And then uh, fast forward a few years, and come to find out that the man that uh, ended up uh, giving Carson fiddle lessons, it was his band that did this song. It was uh, Keith Williams and uh, his band called Hard Times, and uh, his daddy taught him this song, and his daddy told him that there was an uh, older lady in the community who taught it to him. So uh, it's a really good song, and I think if you listen to the verses, you'll find out that it's, uh, it's put together in a way to teach you the Bible, and I would imagine it's a way to teach the Bible through songs. So anyway, this one's called The Great Flood. sacrifices you guys made. We thank you so much and God bless you. God bless you. And so for you guys, we would like to uh, play a song that uh, Mr. Eric wrote. Uh, it's a really good song. Uh, it's called A Soldier's Return.
Yes, from burn away they stood up to answer the call. To fight for the country in England, they must pay for they knew that the cost would be gone. Ranged around and many a soldier like old. But they fought on no matter who was so proud, knowing not what the future was old. And at home far away, I will make it someday for my family and loved ones. But for now, only God knows if I'll walk alone or if they'll trace the flag over me.
merchandise over here. We're under the Farm Bureau tent. We got CDs and shirts and hats and pictures and all kinds of stuff up there. You go check it out. If you, if you don't want to buy anything, just go over there and we'll eventually pressure you into buying something. So, if you don't believe us, we'll take that as a challenge. No, Austin, we, we, we don't shake the babies. We shake hands and kiss babies. Oh, there's no shaking the babies. That must have been what happened to me. That's probably what happened. That's a good observation. Since you're up here, you want to sing one? I reckon. All right. Can we do a little bit of crown holy and two Oh, If I could, I surely would sit on that rock, Lord, Lord, Moses. I 
to uh, do you a song that's uh, on our gospel CD we put out last year, and uh, I think it's probably my favorite gospel song of, of all time, besides Amazing Grace. And uh, I just love the message in this song. A good friend of mine, Mr. Mark Jackson, uh, wrote this song, and uh, he was, he gave us the privilege of uh, putting this on our CD, and I, I hope you get a blessing out of it. But before we play that, I want to uh, I want to say a big thank you to Mr. Sam. Now, you see this big poster back here. It's got his picture on it. And uh, it says, Thank you, Sam, for bringing gospel music to the Russell County Fair for 25 years. Why don't you give old Sam a big hand? <laughs> you know, ladies and gentlemen, that, that's a ministry in itself, to bring gospel music 25 years in a row to a fair up here. You know, we, uh, we're we all Christians, and that's why we love to come play gospel music. That's uh, When we come out and do a gospel set, I feel like I'm worshiping. I don't feel like I'm entertaining because I'm, I'm singing to my Lord and my Savior. And, uh, you know, he's been so good to me. He's blessed me beyond belief. And, and one of the things he's blessed me with is this fine son back here that's about to come sing you this song. And I want to introduce him to you. Uh, He's been playing the fiddle since he was three years old. He's been singing since he was five. And he can play multiple instruments. And, uh, but, but not only that, I just want to, I just want to tell you, he is a, he's a fine Christian young boy. I'm very proud of him. That's why I'm proud of him, not because he can pick the strings off a fiddle. I'm proud of him because he accepted Jesus and he's living for him. And uh, he's going to come sing you a song here. This one's called He's All I Need. I don't 